going on just back with another video here so um last night i was just watching an episode of the joe rogan experience where he had a comedian named sam morrill on his ep on his uh, podcast if you haven't followed out sam, checked out sam before you should definitely check him out he's a really really funny comic um he, he, he's posts a lot of stuff on youtube just search his name and you know have a good night because he's a he's a pretty funny dude so um but that's not why i wanted to make this video the reason why i want to make this video is because late in this episode just about two and a half hours in Canada was brought up, and Joe Rogan had some very choice words to say about uh, Justin Trudeau's Canada. So let's just uh, have a look at this. It's just a couple minutes that I'm going to play here for you guys, then we'll talk about it after, like usual. I mentioned, like, like, I'm moving to Canada, and I'm like, uh, you, think Canada, you think Canada just wants all of our fucking whiners? Yeah, listen, not only that, but Canada has, like, ridiculous free speech laws. They have hate speech laws. They can come down on you for a lot of things. He's speaking in, uh, in general about Bill C-11, which, you know, not to get too much into it, but if you want to, you can go online and look up what Bill C-11 is. It absolutely restricts your right to free speech. They seized yeah. up the bank accounts of people that were protesting the truckers. Oh, that was, that was the, a fun the time. truckers, the people that were donating yeah. to the truckers, they seized their bank accounts. Like, yeah, that's not a good place. Yeah. It's not a good place under this administration, at least. Yeah, where do you go? Correct. Yeah, sideways. Canada was an amazing place 10 years ago. You go to Canada 10 years ago, it was awesome. I was always saying that I love Canada. It's like 20% less douchebags. What do you What do you like in Canada? I love Montreal. Montreal's beautiful. amazing. Beautiful. City. I love Toronto. I love Vancouver. Vancouver. I love Canada. Vancouver's one of the most beautiful cities. I don't cities. go to Canada anymore. But I ever? No. You want to do a gig? He said that a while ago, too. He's like, as long as Trudeau's up in charge up there, I'm not going. We actually just had a UFC here. I'm not here. I'm not in Toronto, but I'm about an hour away from Toronto and Hamilton. And... They had a UFC here where, where Sean Strickland, you know, had his famous little spat with the uh, reporter. And, um, yeah, Trudeau, or sorry, Rogan wasn't there. He said, I'm not going to Canada, whether it's for UFC, for comedy. He comes hunt, hunting up here a couple times a year most of the time. But in the past few years, basically since COVID, he hasn't come up here. And he said he's not coming back until Trudeau's gone. Man, I'm Can't blame him, by the way. As president, fuck you. Yeah, but whatever he is, prime these minister. People are fans here. They want to see you still. Fuck. You, get rid of that guy. I'll come back. I just don't trust any of it up there. Yeah. I just think that they're, they're so far into tyranny right now. Like, the laws that they're passing, the shit that they're doing, they're, the erosion of people's rights. Like, I don't want to support it. Mm. I like, think it's fucking horrible. Yeah, but I think a lot of people there just want to laugh. I think people need a laugh. Oh, know? yeah, they definitely need a laugh. They're, yeah. they're in the middle of a full-blown communist takeover. <laughs> yeah. It's a scary spot. Yeah. It's scary. But it used to be amazing. I, I used to say that Canada is 20% less douchebags. Like, the people are 20% nicer than most people that you meet in America. They're really yeah, polite. That's, that's why they get... I don't know about that. I mean, I understand what he's saying, and he's probably met even more Canadians than I have, considering how many times he's been up here. And obviously, him being American, he knows way more Americans than me, or most people, considering how famous he is. That being said, I don't know if he's true, uh, if he's right on that, because, I mean, I know a lot of Americans, and... I would say there's probably about the same amount of assholes. But again, maybe maybe I'm totally wrong. Let me know what you think in the comment section about that. Is Joe right or is it about the same? They roped into all this shit. That's why they get roped into hate speech laws because they want to be kind. They want to be good people. And they don't realize like compelled speech has a terrible ending. It always ends in communism because someone has to compel that speech. Who does? The people with guns. And they tell you what to do. And the government. Yeah. And then you have violence that is enforced to get people to follow a doctrine that they may or may not believe in. Yeah, I think you just gotta, you just gotta be pro-free speech. I mean, for all the awful shit people can say, you still just have to be pro-free speech. That's Elon's take on it, you know? Yeah, and so that's pretty much it for that video. So, you know, and what they were talking about lastly there was, you know, freedom of speech. You have to have freedom of speech. Absolutely. You should not be jailing people for speech or because they refuse to say a certain pronoun or refuse to, you know, believe what you believe about certain ideologies. I'm not going to get into which ideologies here on this channel. That's not what this channel is about. But in terms of, you know, passing laws to make certain speech illegal or to pass laws saying, here's certain speech that you must say, that's wrong. I am absolutely pro-free speech. All these liberals out there who are saying things about Donald Trump right now, I'm sure you guys all know what happened. And a lot of conservatives are saying, oh, look what they're saying about Trump. If we said that about their leader, they would you know, be coming after our jobs. They'd be coming after our platforms. And that's absolutely true. And they did it. They've already proven that. 
So my message to conservatives is don't be like them. I know you feel like, well, at a certain point, they won't listen and you got to give them a taste of their own medicine and you just have to be a hypocrite once in a while. I totally understand that. And if you find someone who was doing that to you and they would not listen, I understand. It's like, okay, maybe they should lose their job like I would have lost my job. That being said, generally speaking, we just can't cancel every single person who was saying something you know distasteful or bad about Donald Trump. You can't just start censoring everybody. You're just going to become exactly what you hate. Again, I know it's very tricky when you have liberals coming after your jobs and you know governments coming after your jobs because you don't want to take a certain medication or you don't you want to say something but you don't feel like you're allowed to and you have all these employers who are you know reading your Twitter and they're checking out your YouTube page and they can apparently fire you for these things and that's not right. They shouldn't be able to fire you at a grocery store because you have different political views than the boss. That doesn't make any sense. If you, if you tweeted something you shouldn't have and it wasn't on company time, they should have no business to, you know, fire you. And I also understand that it's like, well, you know, the, your employees' views can affect business deals and maybe, you know, some partnership falls through because they don't want an employee who they deem as racist or whatever they want to call you. I understand that, but you have to let people speak. End of story. You have to let people speak. And if you don't, and if you are pro-censorship, you're becoming exactly what you've, uh, what you've said that you've hated all along. Which means you are not pro-free speech. I am not for canceling anyone in any way. Now, if you actually incite violence, and you know, there's exceptions to every rules, of course. And yes, like I said, there are liberals who absolutely behave are behaving terribly right now. And if you did the same to them, they would want you canceled. Those specific people deserve a taste of their own medicine this one time. But generally speaking, and, and you know, exceptions don't disprove the rule. But generally speaking, you have to let people speak. Anyway, what do you guys think about your freedom of speech? We can go on a whole, you know, longer um, a dialogue than that on free speech because it is a very complicated issue because there are lots of things that people say that, you know, they really shouldn't say, but I still don't think you should pass any laws. But I want to hear your opinion. Please let me know what you think in the comments section about free speech, about Justin Trudeau's Canada. Do you think that Joe Rogan is right about what he said? Let me know. I always love uh, reading those comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.